Hello everyone and welcome! If you have been on this channel for a while, it's no surprise that I love Pyra's back air. Back air, my beloved. And if you're new on the other hand, allow me to explain in painstaking detail. First things first, let's get the basics out of the way. Back air sweet spots at the bottom corner and sour spots at the very end. The hitbox underneath is deceptively huge, so you can definitely pull off some shenanigans with it. It's only active for one frame? It's not worth it? Another detail that is nice to know is that backer auto cancels on short hop, meaning you get no landing lag whatsoever and you can move around while putting massive hitboxes all over the place. Moving around with short hop auto cancel aerials is bread and butter for pirate movement, so you better take notes. Now, backer being so unintuitive to the eye is part of what makes it so strong in the first place. You see, to survive longer against backer, you need to hold away which is typically fine in most cases if you're expecting it. However, in scenarios where your opponent is approaching you, that's where back air really shines. Why you ask, is actually quite simple. Which way is the opponent holding when they're approaching? Forward, towards you. And which way should you not hold when getting hit by back air? Forward, towards Pyra. You add two and two together, and you get... So yes, backer is well suited to stuffing approaches, but it doesn't stop there. You see, we need to talk about RAR backer. For the uninitiated, a RAR backer is performed by dashing, turning around, jumping during the turnaround animation, and attacking. And while this is nice, it's a bit easy to react to because Pyra is so slow. We need to take it to the next level. <clears throat> May I introduce... Instant turnaround back air for all your stock taking needs. It's very similar in concept to RAR back air, except now you do it from standing still. Turn around, jump during your turnaround animation, back air. If you find it difficult to do RAW, you can buffer it after another move if you like. This way, it's far more difficult for your opponent to know that a backer is coming, because your back isn't turned. This is what I mean when I say it's easy to DI backer when you're expecting it, but when it comes out of nowhere... It's really satisfying landing a kill with backer like this. I really do encourage you to try. Easily my favorite thing to do with Pyro right now. Really gets a dopamine going, you know. Obviously, if you do this too much, it becomes predictable, so remember to not overuse it, yeah? Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you learned a thing or three along the way. Backer might not be the best move in the game, but it is in my heart. Thanks for watching, and take care.